Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Gary Dahl. I'm a pediatric oncologist here at uh, Lucille Salter Packard Children's Hospital in Palo Alto, California. Uh, I'm a pediatric uh, hematologist oncologist and I take care of uh, children who have malignancies. A couple of years ago I had the uh, opportunity to be able to take care of a remarkable uh, boy for many years <laughs> and he was amazing. Uh, I would make rounds on his room, in his room when he was very, very ill uh, in the stem cell transplant unit where he'd be for many, many months at a time and he would be in school. I said, what? You're in school? He said, yes, I'm in school. Look. And he'd point up and there was a camera and he was actually in school taking the classes in his uh, regular school. He was taking the tests, he was participating and uh, talking to the other students as well as the teacher. And I was amazed even one time when you'd go to make rounds, you know, when the doctor makes rounds, you're supposed to pay attention to what the doctor said. He would say, nope, I'm in school, come back later. So we had interesting experiences. So with that, we, uh, we were uh, un unsuccessful in curing Omar. He had multiple problems. But after, after he died, it was a, a group of his supporters and family got together and developed a foundation to support the same sort of activities which he was able to participate in when he was uh, in the hospital. And I, through all of this, I've kind of learned that the most important thing is the connection with normal activities going on at home, with your friends, and is there some way to maintain that when you're stuck in the hospital? Hospital is the most boring place to be in the world, and the best place to be is at home. So uh, the idea then was to be able to reproduce a similar sort of experience to what Omar had, and in addition, try to make everyone have the opportunity to continue to get their schoolwork done, to continue to be in school, to continue having their friends know where they are, and allow them to grow up in a normal way, even though they're stuck in the hospital. And literally, sometimes they're stuck in the hospital. Yeah, I think, I think what, what we see when people who are uh, children who are ill and in the hospital can maintain their communication with the outside world in school is that they're allowed to keep up intellectually and also build on those friendships that allow them to participate later when they're discharged from the hospital so they don't miss a beat because we don't want them to be behind. We want them to be able to stay up because this is just a detour. What we're doing is treating cancer. We're going to get rid of the cancer and this is a detour. You're back on a normal road in school. And so we found some people may need help uh, with iPads or computers. Other people may be able to participate directly in school uh, in other ways also. And we have patients from many, many parts of the state. Uh, and so there are a lot of opportunities to help kids.